Recently, I've been getting a bunch of questions on using Panorama guitars with Osmos. I have one just next to me, and this extends to other MP-capable controllers like the Rolly Seaboard, for example. You've been asking whether it's possible at all considering that Contact lacks full MP support, and if yes, how you even set it up. So I thought I'd shoot a quick video to show you how it works. I'll be using my Osmos, but you can follow along with your MP controller of choice. The principles are the same, and most of them have very good documentation. Before we dive in, I'd love to ask you for a very quick favor. According to YouTube analytics, around 90% of the viewers of this channel are not subscribed. If you see value in what I do and want me to do more, I would really appreciate it if you could take a minute and hit that bell icon. It really helps me and you'll get notified next time I put a new video up. First thing first, let's try to understand exactly what it is that we want to achieve with MP. MP stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression, and the word polyphonic in it implies that I want to have MIDI control over each voice that I'm playing. This is not possible with traditional controllers. I'll show you what I mean using pitch band as an example. I have my regular keyboard here and the default patch of Panorama guitars. If I press a note and bend it using the pitch wheel, It's all good, I get a one-tone band. The problem is that if I do the same thing while playing a chord, the pitch band affects every single voice in the chord equally, which is not what I always want. So here's where MP comes handy. There are two steps to set it up. So the first step is on your controller. I'm going to set Osmos to external MIDI mode, and then in the config menu, I'm going to make sure that I have it set to multi-channel. Then I'll go to the adjust menu over here, and I want to make sure that the mode is set to multi-channel, and I have my star channel set on one, and end channel set to 16. Of course, if I don't need 16 channel, I want to decrease the number of MIDI channels used, so I might set these up to eight or four or something like that, but we'll set it to 16 for now. On the Rolly Seaboard, the steps are actually very similar. Rolly has a very good documentation about this that you can check out. The second step is directly in contact. We'll have to create as many copies of Panorama guitars as the number of notes we want to play at the same time, 16 in this case, and then we need to assign each one to a different MIDI channel from one to 16. I am going to go in a classic view to do this as I just find it easier to do in contact eight. And so I'm gonna find Panorama guitars. And as this is just the full patch, I'm just going to add it 16 times. Okay, I have my 16 instruments here, and now I want to go in the I for information panel on all of them. And here I'll start setting up my MIDI channel. So I have one, two, and so on. This is pretty much all I had to do. Uh, if I start playing, you'll see each note uh, using a different instance of contact. which also means that I can now, for example, bend each note independently, which is super cool. I can do more though. How about we use one of Osmos's gestures to uh, control the movement within the XY pad of the Y axis, for example. The X and Y pad in Panorama guitars can be assigned to any MIDI CC you like. So all you need to do is assign one of the controller's gestures to that CC number. The movement across the uh, Y axis defaults to CC15 and you can change it over a year and even MIDI learn it if you so wish. Osmos has three different dimensions the musician can work with in what they call an augmented keyboard action. The horizontal movement of the key is polyphonic pitch bending, which we just explored, but the vertical movement of the key is actually has two main functions. It both works as polyphonic aftertouch. If I really press the key way down, but it's also continuously detecting pressure in a very different way from a traditional keyboard where the key jumps back up. Uh, this kind of really detects pressure continuously. It's kind of hard to explain if you're not experiencing it. So what I want to do is to assign the gesture to moving the Y axis in Panorama guitars. I can do this quite easily. On the Osmo, still on the adjust menu, I can go to controllers over here 
gestures and look for pressure and I can assign any controller to pressure. For example, uh, MIDI CC15 in this case. Now I kind of want to assign something cool to be uh, modulated by the Y-axis in Panorama Guitar. Um, how about a combination of maybe delay sand, I'm gonna set it to Y and set the intensity all the way up, and I'm gonna pick a nice distortion. I'm gonna set the drive to be modulated by the Y-axis. Now I'm gonna have to copy these settings uh, across all the 16 instances. Setting up MP this way makes for an extremely expressive instrument. Now, just a couple of tips. Uh, we tried this with delay, but if you're not using the internal effects of panorama guitars or any other instrument you want to use this workflow with, I really recommend disabling them and using either a single effect on the master in contact using the built-in contact mixer or an external effect in your DAW. This is because you're obviously duplicating all the effects for every single MIDI channel, which isn't exactly CPU efficient. For the same reason, if you don't need 16 voice polyphony, but for example, you can do it four or eight, load less instances, and just make sure you set a different value for the last MIDI channel on your controller. And finally, to avoid doing this every single time that you want to use uh, this setup in contact, make sure that you save it as a multi, and you do so on file, save multi as, and then you can uh, save it and recall it as needed. I really hope this was helpful. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.